people welcome back to the channel i stand alone gaming and today we're going to be playing some more final fantasy 7 the remake in the last episode we completed uh our sector 5 journey and uh we defeated rude in this little area i don't even know what you would consider this uh kind of looks like it was left here intentionally as just an arena to fight rude in um but with that being said we just defeated him he left and we are on our way back to Eris house and continuing along with our story. So I'm sure there'll be a cutscene soon as we get back. Let's go ahead and enjoy that, and I'll see you guys on the other side. Wait a sec. So, you coming? Of course. Talking to the Shh. So yeah, it was that kind of day. <sighs> Let's go. Shouldn't keep mom waiting. Hey, what'd they say? Good work today, guys. Kidding. They didn't say a word. But, you know... Uh, never mind. It's not like you'd believe me, after all. Hmm. Probably not. Tell me anyway. Really? Yeah. It won't be much longer now. The flowers, they... They have something important to tell us. Something they... Need to share with us. At least, that's the feeling I get. But, before they can... There's a final step that has to be taken. Otherwise, we won't hear them. Maybe I should just give up. Honestly, it's what I do best. Could have fooled me. From what I've seen, you're no quitter. Well, today's special. That's why I've been working my butt off. Uh, what's so special about it? <laughs> okay, time to go. Learn to talk to her. Did the flower say anything? Uh, good work today, guys? The spirit all righty so before we head on out let's go ahead and pick up this materia the mp up materia and that's very nice to have of course and let's go ahead and head back to eris house so once we head inside there'll be another cutscene, and we'll have to uh, watch that so let's go ahead and do that you're heading in already yeah that's enough for one day. Before you click yes, make sure that you completed all of the side missions that you want to complete. Where have you two been? Uh, I've been worried sick. Sorry. We got a little sidetracked. Dinner's ready, in case you're wondering. Ah, great. But before we sit down, I want you to make up the guest room. Gotcha. Take a load off, okay? Judging by those eyes, I'm guessing you're a soldier. 
Ex soldier. I hate to ask, but would you leave tonight without any fuss, no questions? You boys made a trade, a normal life, for power. You can't have it both ways. I'm back. Good. Now, I hope you're hungry. Starving, right? Uh. <sighs> I've never been so proud. The man you've become. Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl that could keep you on the straight and narrow and tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. Sorry about my phone going off. Hmm. Don't want to overstay my welcome. All right, and basically you had a little flashback of when he was with uh, Claudia, which I believe would be either his mother or his sister. Um, haven't really got into some of the backstory. But with that being said, they basically want you to sneak out, and there's two ways, or you're pretty much guaranteed to sneak out at some point, but the first attempt is a little bit more difficult than the second, and the second attempt is a little bit more difficult than the third. Basically, right here, they're telling you that you got to sneak out without bumping into anything. If you bump into anything, you'll wake up Aerith, which can be challenging the first couple times, so we're going to try to do it on the first attempt. And uh, we'll see what happens. I think we got it. So cool. You're leaving. First attempt. So how do I get to Sector Seven? It's simple enough. Just cut through Sector Six. It isn't exactly safe, but you should be okay, seeing as you're a soldier. Was one. Promise me, you'll never talk to Aerith again. Please. You got it. Thank you. All right. So my phone's on silent now. Let's continue along with the story. And uh, yeah, so basically um, there's no benefit to doing it on the like first attempt. It's just a challenge. So uh, if you do it on the first attempt, kudos. If not, then you still basically get the same cutscene and nothing else changes. So go ahead and head out. And basically all we have to do is run to the exit of the town. So I'm going to go ahead and speed that up a little bit just so you can see the path but it will be a little bit quicker of a video, so I'll see you guys there. Real quick before we leave, I want to see if Chadley's still over here. And he's not. I was hoping to buy another first strike materia, but I guess we'll buy it the next time we see him. So with that being said, we'll just continue along. And once you get past down these rocks over here, you should have another cutscene. Well, look who it is. Talk about a coincidence. What are you doing here? Waiting. Why? Because I'm not sick of you yet. <laughs> Lead on then. With pleasure. <laughs> Cloud? Is something wrong? It's nothing. <sighs> Alright, so we continue along. There's a small little path. 
and eventually we run into another cutscene. So you can see this. We're gonna go ahead and bang this out. They're still working on the new plate. I don't like this part of Midgar. Back when they were still building Midgar, there was an accident and the plate fell. People had only just started moving in, so there weren't a lot living there at the time. But. The underside of Sector 6, Wall Market, a real special place. But I'm sure you already knew that, right? I didn't tell you. I enlisted pretty much right after I left home. Don't know much about this place or any of the slums. Well, it took a lot of people to build Midgar, and they all needed to blow off steam. So some traders built an entertainment district. Inns, shops, bars, the works. Folks started pouring in from all over. Business was booming, money was flowing, which attracted the attention of some guys who didn't much care for the law. And now there isn't any. Right. But instead of trying to solve the problem, the government decided to just wall it in. And that's how Wall Market began. Out of sight, out of mind, as the old saying goes. For the folks in charge, there's no better way to deal with it. So it's like a giant veil. Yeah. Wanna see what's behind it? Not really. That's good. Because I know a better way to get to Sector 7. One that, tragically, doesn't go through Wall Market. And it's just through this tunnel here. At least it was, back when I was a kid. All right, and we make our way to the tunnel. Basically, all we gotta do is go through the tunnel and we should be on the other side of Sector 6. And that's pretty much it, so. There's a few things that go on in this tunnel. Well, clearly, it's a one-way ticket to um, fun times. Go ahead and get into it. It's been like this, you know, ever since the plate fell. And there's no other way. It'll be all right. So let's run up through here. Gotta fight this Tepsy Colt. Let's go ahead and use. I think we have assessed already. So let's go ahead and see if Braver. Oh, of course we miss. No holding back. Try me. Get him. It's on now. See ya. And there we go. We took him out. So that's nice. Lightning materia improved think to level two so that's great and there should be a chest uh, well, this is a take out the lesser drake let's have her cast a thundera There we go. So we're doing pretty good. A big arm. Kind of there is boxes here, chest there. Grab the chest. It should be a Moogle charm. Or metal, sorry. Head down the ladder. And we get to a kind of like a mini game, which is interesting and uh, works. So the first one starts off pretty easy. It's basically just a tutorial on how to do things. That's pretty much it. So we drop this hand down. Here's an idea. I'll hop on and you give me a ride. You serious? Absolutely. I'll throw down the ladder for you to climb up after. And there you go. So basically all the yellow marks on the floor are areas where you can drop the arm. Comes in useful later when there's more places so I'll just leave it at that for now
Well, what did I tell ya? All right, before we get into moving on, there's a few things I want to change. We'll let this cutscene take place first. You did it. Yeah. Uh. Hmm? All right, good enough. Let's keep on trucking. So let's grab these boxes. And then the, what I want to do is we're going to actually put different material on cloud. So we have lightning already, which is fine. We have assess, we have HP up, we have healing. We're going to swap out a provoke, which we're not really using right now for arrow. And the only reason we're doing that is because those lesser drakes are weak to wind and uh, it'll be nice to have. So let's go ahead and put on arrow and then we'll keep Tifa the, or AM yeah, Tifa. Aerith the same way that she is now. So she's got thunder. Uh, which is good we're gonna be, have to use that for some people um yeah all right so let's keep it moving Stop. Did we it up? Here we go. If you haven't already assessed this guy, make sure you go ahead and assess him. Not sure if this is another variation of the sweeper prototype or not, so just make sure that you get it if you're not sure. And there we go. Pretty easy fight. Wouldn't be too difficult. Make sure you're healing yourself. Another chest here. So we pretty much just go through this area real quick, climb up another ladder, and I think we're on our second hand mini game make sure you're following along because there's uh materia in here if you haven't done this part already that you definitely want to pick up and it's definitely beneficial to keep it so you want to make sure that you get there's one specific material in here that you definitely want to get especially for late game progress and uh you definitely don't want to miss that so yeah, keep watching. Run around here. There's some boxes and another item. Pick this up. Thousand gill. Let arrows get in my way. And once you get through this little area, I believe there's one more fight. Maybe not. And it should be another arm section. Looks like a dead end. Make sure you pick up the mega potion. Always nice to have those. Let's 
All right, with that being said, we're on the second area here. Go ahead and press the Y button. And there's a materia here as well. This one isn't as important. It's the third one that you want to get. However, if you want to get it and you want to get all the material that you possibly can, which I do, let's go ahead and grab it. So basically all you have to do is drop down, pick this container up, let Aerith explain to you how it's done. Awkward. Oh no, look. Why is it always gotta be so tough? Lucky for me, you'll make this easier. Yes, ma'am. Well then, I'm gonna All right, lift this up, rotate it, drop it back down, and there you go. Once you place this here, all you got to do is go pick up Aerith. Now it is a little bit more time consuming to pick these things up, but if you want everything, you got to take the time. So that simple. Pick her up. Transfer over. You can drop her on the crate. And we get a binding materia. So gotcha. check it out after we get the next materia. The next materia is very useful and is used quite frequently in late game. So make sure that you are picking that up. Whether it's through my video or somebody else's, make sure you pick it up. Very, very useful. And there's only this one in the entire game. So okay, right. you do not want to miss it. Hold on while I drop the ladder. All right, so we can head down. Might as well grab these boxes while we're here. We already picked up the item, the mega potion. And you climb on up. Now, if I remember correctly, do not remember correctly. Okay. So here we're going to be getting to a rest area. Definitely want to make sure that you rest. And there's going to be music to buy in the um, vending machine. So make sure you are purchasing that music in the vending machine. So we're going to go ahead and buy the music first. Don't think we need anything else in here. Lignus bracelet wouldn't hurt, but we only, we already have two. And you can buy an MP up material, but we don't really need another one of those. At least not yet. Max you can have on one character, I believe is four, two or four. Forget exactly. And then you can rest here at the bench. Make sure you're full HP and MP. And there is a mini boss coming up, so make sure that you are resting. Once we get through there, you have to actually backtrack a little bit. And here is why we put on the arrow. So once we get Cloud up to where he needs to be. Uh, also, if you haven't already assessed the Drakes, uh, make sure that you are assessing them. There was a moment in Sector 7, way back in like the I don't wanna, uh, fourth or fifth episode where you fought one of these guys. But just make sure that you have them assessed. So we did it way back then, but just make sure that you are doing it if you haven't already. Uh, and like I said, this is why we have Arrow. So if we go ahead and use it on Drake A, it should actually put him in a pressured state. And we could go ahead and use Focus Thrust. Yeah. 
and there we go. He staggered. We'll use arrow on the B. And there we go. So nice, easy fight. I like the arrow because it knocks him out of the air a little bit. And then we head down here. Once we head down here, we'll be doing that mini boss that I was talking about. So I'll let that cutscene play out and I'll see you guys on the other side. It's just us. Hmm. It's still warm. Should we relight it? Have our own campfire? I need to get back. Besides, looky here, boys. Caught us some burglars. Coming into our homes and stealing our shit. Doing crimes. <laughs> I'd say we're owed compensatory damages. <laughs> Government uh, composite. I don't get it. Ah, how stupid can you be? It's crazy simple. <laughs> compensatory damages is like, uh, it's like compensation for damages. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what you get when you, uh, when somebody else. We uh, haven't done anything wrong. Yeah. We were just passing through. Oh, a likely story. Uh, okay, what do you want? Nothing but our due recompense, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> due recompense, due recompense. What? Due, due recompense? Huh? No shit for brains, due recompense. It's like, uh, uh, it's like, uh, 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 compensatory damages. Um, oh, so damages recompense. I guess <laughs> I think we've heard enough. Alright, so this is the little mini boss fight, and it's kind of simple. There is a few things you want to dodge, like that lightning mine right there. Also, make sure you assess before you kill everybody. And, uh, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty simple fight. So, go ahead and take on this guy. We'll have Aerith cast Thundera on this one we'll use triple slash and that should be it that's all she wrote once we beat him up there's some boxes you can pick up they pretty much tell you that they're still alive but the funny thing is i think it's like if you run into these guys <laughs> they do a little a little dance on some of them so i think it's pretty funny but yeah, that's that. Like I said, little mini boss. It's not something that's going to be life threatening, most likely. Um, unless you're playing on like hard difficulty or something. Simple. Random question, but why did you quit being a soldier? That is random. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Um, did you have any soldier friends? Any war buddies? No. Not really. Oh, okay. Huh? What we got here? Uh, we can test our new tool. Uh. be a real easy fight for you here so not much to go over just finish this guy off 
first strike materia improved. That's nice. And we're at the third crane arm scenario here. So go ahead and hop into it. The third and final. Stupid ladders, always out of reach. Okay, Cloud, heading down. You're in charge of the arm. Got it? So the same as the last three times. Got it. So yeah, all we got to do is control the arm again. And there's a few things that we want to do first. And for the first arm, we come down and pick up this crate. we go and grab the materia now. So this is the important materia. You wanna make sure that you are grabbing this one. Do not forget to grab this one. It's the only time that you can get it. You can come back, I think later in the game, but it's not worth missing. It's that good. So it's a very good thing to combo with other materia. So definitely make sure that you are picking this one up. The blue ones are typically the combos, combo materia. The green ones are typically spells. Uh, purple is usually like stat boosting. And there's red, which is thumbing. And what is the last one? Yellow, I think is like support. Or like abilities and stuff like that. Like the assess materia, chakra, prayer. Things like that. And we get the magnify materia. So basically what the magnify materia does is kind of like a chain bell. So, you know, like most games have like chain lightning and stuff like that. It basically turns any spell that you have, uh, linked with the magnify materia into a chain spell you can do it with barrier you could do it with region you could do it with cure you could do it with fire like literally any spell you can chain it with so it's it's very nice to have in almost any situation um there's a lot of times it's useful in uh group fights depending on what you're fighting you know so it's a very good materia to have it's also very good healing materia it's a bonus with cure so it's it's useful in a lot of ways and it's unfortunate that you only get this one that's probably my only gripe but it's definitely one of the best ones that you can get and i highly recommend you don't forget it can't stress it enough after we drop Aerith off again we go ahead and pick up the container we move it over to this side drop it all the way down go and now you have to switch cranes and pick up this other crate and drop this on top of the other crate now we're pretty much pretty much where we need to be so you switch arms again drop it down Pick up Aerith. You have to drop her off now on top of the crates and then switch arms again. Kind of tedious, but it is what it is. I've seen worse things in games, so. So again, you drop her off here. Switch arms. Off her ride. And you drop her off at the end. And that's that. I believe there is a chest 
can look real quick. Um, um, blue material. Nope. No chest. Okay. Check my notes. So yeah, that is the end of this part. That went pretty well. Sure did. <laughs> uh, huh? Womp womp womp. Did you just? Nope. All right, so this video is pushing about 36 minutes. We're going to go ahead and end the episode here. If this video helped you out in any way, please leave a like. It costs you nothing. Helps me out greatly. Uh, same thing with subscribing. If you want to see more content of Final Fantasy VII Remake or any of the tips and tricks videos that I will be posting on this game or future games that I end up playing, please subscribe to my channel. Again, costs you nothing. I would greatly appreciate it. But with that being said, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching, and I really hope to see you in the next video. Take care.